also, I installed the weather station up on the roof. We'll take a walk up there in a moment. In any case, we're going to climb up this ladder, up on top of this Kynex. You got to balance carefully. And here we are on the roof. And you can see there's the weather data there, weather station. And then we're on the top of the base here. We'll walk up here, I'll show you what we have. We just set it up about five minutes ago. And uh, what we have here is the device actually collecting all the data that's necessary to balance it. Uh, you can see the bubble there. Now it's uh, level. And uh, these two sensors collect the vast majority of the data except temperature, which temperature uh, is supposed to be uh, out of the shade, so I put it under this camouflage net here. In addition to the, to the uh, device that actually stores the information. And the whole thing is powered by solar power, which is this device here, as you can see. And uh, this, uh, this piece of equipment was provided by, by NREL, who were kind enough to uh, send it to me from Colorado overnight so we can match up the power data information with weather information. Obviously, the, uh, the, the heat of the day, the hottest part of the day, uh, is where the greatest load will occur because of the freezers and the, and the air conditioners. Right now we're facing the southern sky as indicated and uh, the current temperature is approximately let's see, uh, it's 89 degrees time is 12.20 in the afternoon the skies are clear with very low uh, cloud cover shouldn't be a factor. Winds out of the northeast, so we'll come back up here and check on things a little later. And uh, for the time being, this is Robert Robert Smith, the Power SMNE for I3 on the Energy and Water Power Survey in Terezi, Afghanistan, signing out.